Welcome to MDEX 2013, Asia's leading naval expo. Shipbuilders from around the world gathered here. DCNS from France, Navantia from Spain, the Italian Ficentieri Group, German Thiesenkrupp, and the Dutch Damenschild, all coming from Europe. Joining Austell from Down Under and Lockheed Martin from the USA. Let's take a look at some of the displays. The French DCNS Group presented models of its main designs, among them the Go Wind offshore patrol vessel. The first ship of this class, the French ship Lardois, was visiting Singapore for the event. Our OPV uh, has three main innovations I want to highlight. The first is the 360 degree single mast that allows an excellent surveillance of the uh, surface area. <laughs> The uh, integration of uh, ribs uh, through stone ramps, which uh, reduce the launch and recovery time for deployment. And also, what we have, what you can't see here, is the combat mission system that we have on board uh, La Droite. USS Freedom, the first littoral combat ship of the U.S. Navy, was here on its first cross Pacific voyage. Lockheed Martin is offering international customers a new configuration of this vessel, modified into a multi-mission ship. We have an ASW sonar, guns, SPY-1F radar, it's Aegis-based combat system with this, vertical launch system, guns aft, and a helo on the deck. Austell, the builder of the Independence-class littoral combat ship, introduced two new platforms using the same trimaran hull, a multi-mission combatant and a compact multi-roll vessel. So this is the uh, Austell uh, 80 meter multi-roll vessel. It's a trimaran and it's a high speed vessel as well. And it provides multiple roles in, uh, in warfare. It can do surface warfare, it can do anti-submarine warfare, uh, and it can do uh, littoral warfare uh, as well. Um, it's got a mission bay down here that provides uh, the customer with, um, with whatever it requires to do. In fact, it could also conduct uh, humanitarian assistance and disaster relief. Uh, it can conduct boarding operations and the like wherever it needs to. Uh, and it's, it's high speed and it's uh, flight deck add maximum flexibility and versatility to this ship. The Dutch ship designer Damen Scheld unveiled the youngest member of the Sigma family called Compact Sigma. An Indonesian Navy Corvette, its older sister, visited Singapore for the show. What you see here is a smaller version, it's the Compact Sigma. And the Compact Sigma has the same qualities, it's the continuation of the previous Sigma line, and it has the flexibility to add different uh, configurations. This is the, uh, the, the propulsion module with one engine room. In this case, it could be with two engine rooms and with a different uh, weapon configuration. Also a longer version, with an additional section inside, the ship can be made up to 87 meters. So we have the longest version, 87 meters, the shorter version, 80 meters, and the shortest version, 73 meters. Addressing the growing demand for submarines in Asia Pacific, European designers presented here the latest concepts. Thiesenkrupp brought models of their Type 216 and A26 classes currently in development, while DCNS presented the futuristic SMX-26 Special Mission Sub. Weapon producers at the show included Otto Milara, displaying gun turrets and guided ammunition. Another very interesting gun that uh, we cannot show here because it is really big is the 127 64 mm gun. This gun that has been adopted by the Italian and German navies and recently also by Algeria uh, fires the Vulcano ammunition. The Vulcano ammunition for the 127 uh, uh, millimeter caliber can reach over 100 kilometers of range and uh, can hit a target with uh, surgical uh, accuracy. MBDA showed here the latest missiles. Raphael unveiled an innovative hybrid gun and missile system. 
first one is the Typhoon 30mm, the fourth generation of the, uh, the very mature Typhoon system that is being in service for uh, the last uh, decade in more than uh, 13 navies around the world, taking into account all the operational lessons that we have learned from uh, our customers and we have incorporated that into the system. We are talking about 420 rounds instead of around 200 that you used to have in the uh, traditional Typhoon that we have uh, uh, in service. Uh, the shape of the system gives uh, a much uh, stealthier image uh, to the system and as a consequence to the uh, ship itself. The second system, as you can see here, is the uh, what we call the Typhoon MLS Analyst. This is taking advantage of the fact that we have two very mature and very compact proven uh, systems in Rafael. One of them is the Typhoon system, the second one is the uh, Spike Analyst Missile. We uh, integrated the two systems into a maritime system, what you can see here. We use the Fedes uh, Tibetetsno, which we use as a building block, as one of the building blocks uh, of our system. The second one is uh, eight uh, Spike Analyst Missiles that are uh, at a range of up to 25 kilometers. We are, we are talking about a pinpoint uh, accuracy, so basically you can choose the point on the ship that you want to hit, and in that case you can paralyze the ship and make the collateral damage uh, small. The latest applications of unmanned systems were presented here by leading experts including ST Engineering, IAI, Elbit Systems, Schiebel, and Liquid Robotics. What I have behind me here is what we call the Shark. It's an autonomous ocean-going vehicle that can operate at sea for up to a year. It's unmanned and it's deployed in a number of different scenarios. Of course, we're here at the MDEX show and defense is a big application for this platform. We can sense uh, all kinds of uh, different things such as uh, mammals that are in a particular area, uh, boats that should not be in a particular location, uh, fishermen that are perhaps in true Indian areas, in economic areas where they should not be. Uh, the vehicle itself is wave powered, so there's no engine, it's very quiet. There is a, uh, a wing rack in the back on the photo here that's attached to the float. This, this operates on the surface of the ocean. Uh, we've been through uh, 12 uh, cyclones and hurricanes and typhoons. It's an all-weather vehicle. In fact, when the weather gets worse, this vehicle goes faster because it's generated by the motion of the waves is what propels the vehicle forward. Stay tuned for more Defense Update video report.